Gang, it is September, I don't know, what's today? September 2nd? September 3rd? What's today? What's today? I think it's the 2nd. Anyways, the only word to describe the weather out here right now is glorious. It's so nice. Ida's blown through, cooled everything off. It feels like fall, finally. Um, so I figured today was the perfect day to show you some of the new fabrics I've purchased to do my double-sided aprons for, um, you know, the Thanksgiving and Christmas season coming up. So the last show was so, so really, really good. I sold so many aprons between the last two shows that I have less than half of my merchandise that I would normally have. So I've got to, like, seriously get it in gear. I've been working on Annie's stuff all week long. It's going great. Today is Thursday. On Tuesday, I felt like I was gonna cry. I was getting real stressed out. Had six quilts that needed to get done for her memorial this weekend. And yesterday, we had a stellar day, and I banged out three of them from start to finish. So um, I'm in good shape now. So I figured I'd take some time and chat with y'all and show you what I've got. It's not just this that I bought. I went to Joann's too. I had to go buy Joann's to get some backing fabric. For Annie's quilts and everything was on sale everything was on sale oh my god novelty prints are 50% off right now so go into Joann's and by the way I don't get paid by Joann's none of this is paid endorsements I'm just a fabric addict like y'all um, who has a hard time passing up a good deal and when you sew as much as I do like it makes sense to buy the stuff when it's cheap because that just means I'm gonna make more money down the road um, on my investment so I did really, really, really good at Joann's this week, and I can't wait to show you some of the fun stuff I've gotten here. So, let's get started. First things first, I went to Hobby Lobby. I spent, uh, let's see, how much do we got here? This was probably, I did pretty good on this stuff. I think I got like one to two yards of all of it. These were all, um, for the most part, like their brother-sister designs, I think. So we're gonna take a look at the salvage and we'll see. You know, they have a pretty good, like, regular selection, um, brother-sister designs. If you go to Hobby Lobby and you want to make, like, aprons or baby bibs or stuff, they, that's one thing I like about them is they're very consistent. They always have, like, really nice, matchy-matchy coordinating prints. A lot of the trendy stuff, you can get, like, llamas and succulents, you know, and then there's always good, like, classic stuff. Um, and so, anyways, this trick was to find fall fabrics and Christmas fabrics that I could put on opposite sides of the apron. They don't have to match, but I want them to like at least coordinate a little bit, you know, cause when you have the ties tied around your neck, you're gonna see the flip side. So um, what I did was the first fall fabric I picked out that I absolutely love were these pumpkins. You know, like I love the difference in the color with the blue and the red and the green, you know, it's not all orange and, and warm colors. There's some cool colors in there. So I looked for a, um, Christmas fabric that had some blues in it and I found these really cute snowmen. Snowmen, super popular. Definitely one of the things I got asked about the most um, uh, with mask making was for Christmas masks with snowmen. Um, I'm not even going to get into all the mask stuff because we've been there, we've done that. If you're like me and you're sewing what you sew, we've had all these conversations. So anyways, great, beautiful. I absolutely love this. Almost positive these are all brother or sister design. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, where's that salvage? Oh, this one actually doesn't say. So this was just in their Christmas stuff. This is definitely brother and sister designs. Um, and this one, I don't know. They had a giant, giant uh, cart of Christmas stuff that was really hard to walk away from. Um, and that was in there. And so then, let's see, the next one I did was, these are cute little fall gnome kind of guys, I guess. Yeah, those are gnomes, right? Yeah. So fall gnomes, and I did with that one, I did the blue snowmen, the little cooking snowmen. I thought they were super cute. And then with the classic pumpkins, I'm gonna do classic Santa, but I like they both have the black background. So I thought that would work out pretty good. So I'm happy with what I've got here. I like the way these are looking together. Like I said, they don't need to coordinate perfectly. Um, I just want them to have some kind of little bit of similarities, um, you know, so, because they're gonna be on the front and the back. The other thing I liked, like these two, both have tiny polka dots. 
so that kind of makes them coordinate a little makes them similar so I think they'll do good um, for the aprons so on to the fun stuff so I don't know that's what enough for three and I have a whole pile of Christmas fabric that I bought last year that you may have seen in some of my other you know videos for harvest fabric and whatnot and um, I, you know I can make a pile more aprons so I'll probably have somewhere between like five and six of the flip side aprons I'm expecting that they'll probably sell really really well as Christmas gifts so anyways uh, the first thing that's been awesome at Joann's is they're getting all this fabric for like trendy movies and uh, rock bands so I've already gotten some like Grateful Dead I got ACDC I got Kiss um, but they had a whole bunch more now they had like Jimmy Buffett and some other cool stuff um, I just bought a little bit of that but I have already bought you know the it fabric and um, the shining fabric they had a Chucky fabric that I really liked the idea of the Chucky fabric but the Chucky on it was just kind of cheesy and weird like the it fabric he's uh, it's a cartoon style it um, but it still looks cool and creepy the Chucky just didn't look creepy it just looked like a like literally like a little doll you know I if I'm gonna spend the money on horror fabric like I want it to be creepy so I was very excited to find this I wish the print was bigger like you could see his creepier bloody face but we had nightmare on Elm Street fabric which is awesome definitely I only bought a little bit this is just gonna be like fun um, you know around Halloween type uh, fabric so you know maybe I'll make a mask for me and maybe one to sell one or two to sell we'll see what happens with that this was in the novelty prints and since all novelty prints were 50% off I bought everything that was left I love this this is just great you know funky fun for everything this would make a good apron it would make a cool baby bib it would make an awesome scrunchie you know it's got the leopard print and the roses the only thing you're missing is if it had skulls in it I would I'd guarantee I would sell it off the shelves but either way just a fun wild print the price couldn't be beat it was already like a really decent price per yard I think it was you know um, somewhere around 10 bucks maybe just under 10 bucks so if I can get a fabric that's under 10 bucks and 50% off at Joann's that's great because I do love Hobby Lobby Hobby Lobby is consistent I don't love Hobby Lobby's politics but I love their fabric um, their fabric is nice quality it's consistent um, and the prices are very 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 fair and I'm assuming that's you know they can keep the prices down because they pretty much seem to only work with a really small group of designers um, with a few other things thrown in here and there but you know Joann's you, uh, my Joann's I'm lucky we have a great Joann's and I know the manager I've known her for like 15 years her name's Pam she's awesome you know costume fabric everything like we're lucky to have a really nice uh, store like that here. I wish we had more small business fabric stores, but unfortunately we do not so you work with what you got So anyways, I got this is a Grateful Dead one that I got that I love, you know, just the good old Stare your face can't beat it. You know, it looks really good from far away make a great dog bandana And I got this pink Floyd fabric with the rainbows. Oh my gosh. It's so bright and colorful I Can't wait to make stuff out of this and then, of course, because this is like one of the best sellers ever, Nightmare Before Christmas. At the last show, the first chick that came in bought both Nightmare Before Christmas masks and a Nightmare Before Christmas scrunchie. And then within an hour, another chick came in and bought everything else Nightmare Before Christmas that I had. So if you're looking for a good, you know, uh, like some of the basic sellers, you know, are like Star Wars, Nightmare Before Christmas, a lot of the superhero stuff, stuff that's fun for Christmas. These are great definitely gonna make some scrunchies out of this too because the last ones flew off the shelf this I bought just a yard of because I thought this would be a really fun apron the cheeseburger in paradise apron I know I'll get a Jimmy Buffett fan buy or someone buying that for a Jimmy Buffett fan for Christmas uh, probably this one I'll do in the barbecue style apron so it could be you know unisex right, the next one I got is um, the stag print I've bought this several times I've made aprons masks all kinds of stuff out of it uh, baby bibs really really popular you know everybody loves the buffalo check this time of year it's good for fall it's good for Christmas good for winter you know chicks love stuff that matches their outfits um, and I live in an area where there's a decent amount of people who hunt so so anything deer is always pretty popular on here plus I also had a lady come in last year who's Scottish 
and the stag I guess is you know really important to her family culture and she was saying how uh, when she'd seen this I think I had it in an apron and she was dying for a mask and I had sold out all the masks or whatever but anyways um, this is definitely a solid buy this is another one that's you know just designed for Joanne so you can usually find it in the um, novelty section and like I said 50% off can't beat it I went wild I had originally gone through the Halloween stuff because they had a bunch of cool um, Halloween type things um, and but they were a little bit pricier and the discount was less and then I went into the novelty section and found quite a lot of stuff that was really really similar that was only $10 fabric and was 50% off so definitely like take some time and look around they do often um, if they're gonna have Alexander Henry fabric in Joann's they usually have it in the novelty section and you know I love Alexander Henry prints those are all the cool pinups that I get you know and um, if you can get those for 50 percent off that's a killer price I mean because usually that stuff's gonna run you about $14 a yard so if you're getting a you know a yard of Alexander Henry for um, seven dollars you can't beat that so definitely check it out um, another thing I got another thing that was on sale was all their Christmas and harvest which I had already bought the stuff from um, from Hobby Lobby but you know like I said I really love the pumpkins when they look different and this one is so beautiful so it's got a lot of the blues and those colors that I like that aren't just typical harvest colors um, there's some purple in there too so you know the purple ladies purple ladies and pumpkins I mean that's a really nice thing right there but anyway uh, this one's dark the other one's light I've got a lot of contrast really really beautiful uh, fabric right here and this is another just designed by you know for Joann's uh, one they've got a great selection they've definitely beefed that up a lot over the last couple years and yet another designed like for Joann's is these classic skulls you've seen me show these a million times they are great for everything everything super popular super classic you know um, a neutral color and you just can't go wrong like if you're on a budget and you're trying to you know buy some filler fabrics to you know stock up your merchandise in your booth always have at least one skull there are people that are just nuts for skulls you know they go straight for it and if you're just looking for something that's going to be a crowd pleaser every time skulls and roses or sugar skulls sugar skulls always super popular as well um, but the difference with this one is it appeals to men and women whereas the sugar skulls tend to be a little more feminine so speaking of sugar skulls like I said there was several different prints um, that I loved that were in the uh, Halloween section that were marked like 20 something off but then I went to the novelty section and they had literally the exact same Alexander Henry one that I use all the time this makes a killer apron men's or women's apron um, this one where they've got the kind of like Calaveras type face the day of the dead face plus it's got roses and skulls so you're winning all around you know it's great it's sexy it's fun it's funky it really pops really shows up in your booth and go look in the novelty section 50% off they had it in the Halloween section the only difference was that it was the more muted tea stained color um, and then I went in the novelty section at exact same one so I did real good on that um, the other one I got that is very similar and this was a designed exclusively for Joann's I have to say I've been buying so much Alexander Henry fabric over the years that I have noticed that a lot of the design for Joann's prints are kind of like washed out versions of a lot of the really um, awesome Alexander Henry prints and I don't know if they're like ripping off their designs or maybe they're working with a, like an Alexander Henry type designer on the side and that's who's designing the stuff for Joann's either way they definitely have changed a lot over the 20 years I've been shopping there when it comes to following the trends of what's cool and funky you know when I first started sewing at tattoo conventions and selling a lot of stuff 20 years ago it was hard for me to find skull fabric you know and Alexander Henry was one of the only companies that I could ever find it now you can find it everywhere um, but that just makes everything more fun so anyways this was one a new one I had not seen before this was also in the Halloween I think um, but you can see it's got a lot of the same vibe but I love that it's more subtle and I, of course it's black and rainbow and we all know how popular that is black and rainbow I really really like this they had one very similar in feel to this that was just sugar skulls 
um, and that I had picked up at first, but then I was like, you know what? I've got lots of sugar skull prints and they had, that was in the Halloween that was 20% off and I found this one in the novelty that was 50% off, which I've also used many times before. And um, I went with this one instead. I really like uh, how it has the kind of damask layer in the back with the flowers. Um, it's not that typical sugar skull print that you see everywhere, which is super popular, but I already own some of that too. So I want something a little different. And again, I think I paid like $10, $10, 50 off. So I got two yards of this. I mean like 10 bucks, two yards. If I sell, you know, two aprons, that's $80. That means I made a $70 profit off of that. That's great. Here is another awesome classic one, a uh, fruit basket that Joann's has been carrying since the beginning of time. This was one of the first ones that I purchased when I used to do the tattoo conventions. Um, just good classic cherries. You know, when I first started selling stuff and I was really trying to appeal to the tattoo scene people, it was always like rockabilly type stuff like skulls, cherries, you know, old school looking things. The pinup girls were always really popular and that was pretty much all I had access to back then. But this is one of those prints that I just keep in stock. Super cute for everything, everything. Bibs, scrunchies, aprons, all of it. Um, Joann's also has done really good beefing up all their licensed fabrics. So they've got so much great like uh, superheroes, Star Wars, Harry Potter, all that stuff. And you know, the kids that tend to buy my stuff at the Brewfest, I'd say they're probably, it, you know, I'm 42. I'd say they're probably in their 20s and 30s for the most part. And Harry Potter and Star Wars um, and Nightmare Before Christmas are just absolutely huge with that generation. So I try to keep that stuff in stock. So this time I got the Baby Yoda. Really nice on the navy blue. Makes the green really pop. Um, I just love this print. And this one is Star Wars Mandalorian uh, by Camelot Fabrics. So it's very nice. I like it a lot, real simple. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one yet, but I got two yards, cause you can't go wrong with Baby Yoda. He's so cute. So anyways, um, the last one I got was some more Harry Potter because it's it's like Nightmare Before Christmas. This is one of the ones that people come in and they specifically ask for, and it doesn't matter what the print is or what I made out of it. They love it and they have to have it. But I love this you know, bright blue with the dark. I haven't gotten this one before with the Hogwarts. Um, it's really cool. I dig it a lot. So this will be exciting. I'm not sure what I'm going to make out of it. I've been trying to make a few more half aprons just to preserve some of my fabric so that I can if I only get a yard of something. You know, I can't make, I might be able to pull off an apron and a scrunchie out of a yard of fabric, but I can't pull off like a mask, an apron, and a scrunchie. Now if I'm making half aprons and I buy a yard of fabric, I can get a half apron probably two masks and maybe even two scrunchies out of the yard of fabric. So I'm messing around with it a little bit, especially when it comes to the more expensive stuff, um, just to see how far we can stretch that dollar. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys are doing really well. I got three emails this week for um, harvest shows and, cra and, and Christmas shows that are all starting to get scheduled now. Save the date. Get yourself a calendar, mark them on the weekends, make sure they don't conflict with, you know, birthday parties or other shows that you want to do. Start playing it out and, um, you know, I hope, I hope, I hope that you're already sewing, you know, and building up your merchandise stash so um, you're not like I was 20 years ago and spending the entire night sewing before every single show. I was always cramming at the last minute and always stressing myself out. And the shows are so much more enjoyable now that I'm older and I prepare, you know, farther in advance. So when it comes time for a show, I can pretty much just pack up and leave because I've already got all my stuff, my merchandise packed up and, uh, and already made and, and just ready to, ready to hit the booth. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing awesome. Um, I'm going to be heading to Annie's Memorial this weekend and I did manage to bang out uh, not two, not three, but six quilts, and I'm really excited to share those with you guys, and um, I cannot wait to give them to her loved ones. It's going to be an emotional day, um, but it's also going to be awesome, and I'll have lots and lots and lots of uh, photos and videos to share with you guys on that. Um, I think that's about it. So I hope you all are doing well. Hopefully the weather is leveling out where you are like it is here, and you can get out and enjoy the beautiful day and uh, take care. I hope to see you soon and yeah.